So today I was on a walk and I found this really cool plant stand on the side of the road. I think with some sanding and a couple of other changes, it'll look really cool. So let's get into it. First, I'm using my random orbital sander to sand down the piece starting with 100 grit. Just taking a little break. Uh, my arms are getting really tired from all that sanding, but I'm almost done with the first pass with the 100 grit. And then I'll move on to cutting a couple of parts of the stand just to make it a little more contemporary looking. And I'm also smoothing out the little design element that was created with a router around along the edge. Um, I think that that design element just looks a little old fashioned for my taste. So rounding it out will really help make it seem more contemporary as well. To trim off a few pieces of the legs to make the piece feel a little more trendy, I made this cardboard template so the cuts I made would be consistent on all four legs. I used the first template for the top of the plant stand and I made a second one for the bottom of the legs. I then went in with a jigsaw to make all the cuts. I did one final pass over the entire stand with 220 grit. Unfortunately, the stand had some cracks. So I went ahead and filled it in with some plastic wood and then sanded it smooth once it had dried. Important to note for safety, 
When I'm using oil-based finishes, I lay out my rags outside on my cement patio and let them dry away from flammable materials. Then once they are dried, I soak them in water before throwing them away in the trash can outside. Oil-soaked rags, when balled up and left unattended, can start a fire, so it's very important to take safety precautions. the plant stand is all done. I'm pretty happy with how it came out. There are a couple dark spots on the finish, but that's always a risk when you're restoring something off of the side of the road. Let me know in the comments if you want to see more roadside restoration projects like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.